Mr. Murdo, in the murder of your wife, Maggie Murdo, I sentence you for a term of the rest of your natural life for the murder of Paul Murdo, whom you probably love so much. I sentence you to prison for murdering him for the rest of your natural life. Those sentences will run consecutive. After six weeks, 75 witnesses, 800 pieces of evidence, and one in-person visit to the murder scene, a jury took just three hours to find that a prominent lawyer from South Carolina had murdered his wife and son. Alex Murdoch, who until the last minute still protested his innocence, will now die in prison after being given two consecutive whole life sentences. On the opposition. On the evening of June the 7th, 2021, Alex Murdoch, a six foot four, towering, ginger haired lawyer with a deep southern drawl, phoned 911 and said he'd found his son and wife dead when he returned home from a visit to his mother. Okay, and sir, give me the address again. 4147 Moselle Road. I've been up to it now. It's bad. Okay, how do they shoot? 22-year-old Paul Murdoch was shot twice with a shotgun, while 52-year-old Maddie Murdoch was struck with four or five bullets from a rifle. This is your wife and son? And son. Okay. It's bad. It's bad. I checked the pulses. Yes, sir. On June 7th, 2021, did you take this gun or any gun like it? and shoot your son, Paul, in the chest in the feed room at your property off Moselle Road. Mr. Griffin, I didn't shoot my wife or my son any time. A crime scene report suggested both victims were shot in the head after initially being wounded near dog kennels on the Murdoch property. The weapons have not been recovered. There is no video footage of the attack, and it took more than a year for Murdoch to be charged. The key piece of evidence connecting Alex Murdoch to the killings is a video his son shot from the kennels about five minutes before he last used his phone. Hey, he's got a bird in his mouth! Bubba! Damn, Bubba. It's a guinea! This is a chicken. Come here, Bubba! Come here, Cash! Come here, Bubba! Cash! Quick! Alex Murdoch repeatedly told everyone, starting with the first investigator to respond to the killings, that he hadn't been at the kennels that night. But while testifying in his own defence, he admitted he'd lied, and he had been there. His voice was on the video. But right then and there, just not long into this interview, you made a conscious decision to lie right there. Play that again. You said I was at the house. And I knew she'd gone to the kennel. I was at the house. I left the house. I did not tell them that I went to the kennel. I lied about that. And at the same time, you also looked at this jury and tried to tell them that you had been cooperative in this investigation. Uh, other than lying to them about going to the kennel, I was cooperative in every aspect of this investigation. Very cooperative, except for maybe the most important fact of all, that you were at the murder scene with the victims just minutes before they died. Right? I did not tell them that I went to the kennel. The now disbarred attorney has admitted stealing millions of dollars from the family firm and clients, saying that he needed the money to fund his drug habit. Before he was charged with murder, Murdoch was already in jail awaiting trial on around a hundred other charges, ranging from insurance fraud to tax evasion. His tangled web of lies finally unraveled in court, where he was called duplicitous by Judge Clifton Newman, who hinted that had the prosecution asked, Murdoch could well have received the death penalty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.